What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how I was able to swap out the icon for the kitty terminal. I struggled with this a little bit, so I wanted to make this video so that others did not struggle along with me and I could get you some help so that you're able to swap this out and get some cool icons. As always, if you like the video, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. So let's jump into it. All right, so your icon will probably look like this whenever you first install. I'm on Mac OS, and so I just did like a brew install. You can also install it using the install guide where you do a curl request, but you should end up with an icon that looks like this, which is okay, but I really liked this, uh, these two little dark and, and white icons. And you can see like I have that here, which is pretty nifty. And so in these directions here, it tells you to get the two icons, uh, either icons or PNG. If you go over to the link here where it's talking about where to get those icons, they are right here and you can download the .icns file. And so like you only really need one. Um, I think that you can either get the dark or the light and then set that up however you would like. For me, I chose the dark. And so you click on that and then you can just download it. What I actually ended up doing, which is in this instructions here for the configuration directory. By hitting control shift F2, you can actually open up the kitty conf file and that's how you configure everything. I ended up putting both of those files in that directory. You can kind of put them anywhere in your system, but it seemed like that was a good location to put them out of the gate. So download them and then put them in that directory. You will need this command after you are done, but what you really need is this command right here, which is the kitty run pi, and then it has some of this cocoa set up and replace this with your file location. And so what that looks like is something like this. And so if I run this, you should get an okay. You should not get any import errors. And then once you have that done, Go ahead and run the kill all doc. And that should bounce everything. And you should see at the bottom here that your icon should now be this kitty icon and you're all set. Hopefully this helps you out and gets you able to use those really cool icons. Like and subscribe if you like the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.